Hello, in this video I'm going to answer one of my readers' questions, um, so here it is. Hi, so my friend recently has been opening up to me about her ex-boyfriend, and I'm concerned about their relationship. He seems very controlling and manipulative still to this day. She's 15 and he's 16, and he took her virginity last week and offered her a drug. They were both on it, but that was her first time ever using drugs, and he has done it so many times before. Now he is using threatening behaviour and telling her that he is going to expose her and she doesn't feel comfortable with everyone knowing about her private information. I don't think she understands the severity of it and how he is bullying her in plain sight. So I say, this seems like it is bullying, abusive, manipulative, controlling and just awful behaviour on his part. So I have the same concerns as you about your friend. I guess the question is, what can you do to support her? So understanding what is happening. You say that he is her ex, yet they had sex last week. Something doesn't feel right about that. As you say, he took her virginity after they broke up, if I've got that right. Often first time sex is a big deal for people. And if they didn't have sex when they were in a relationship, because she wasn't wanting to. What has changed since they broke up? Did he manipulate her into sex? Do you think that the sex that they had was consensual? It can be a lot harder to consent if someone is under the influence of drugs, particularly if they are out of it or incapacitated, uh, particularly if it was someone's first time taking that drug because they might not know what their own limits of enough drugs now are. Are they on the same page about the relationship ending? It sounds like maybe she wanted to end it but that he wasn't having it, is that true? If he's manipulating her into having drugs and having sex, it also sounds like he's manipulating her into being in a relationship. Sometimes people don't accept that someone has broken up with them. Maybe this is what's happening with him. Often men behave in this way during breakup with women because they don't have anyone else they can be intimate with or emotional with. If he was writing to me asking for advice in this situation, I'd be caring, understanding, and also I'd be challenging him to be better. However, he isn't, so fuck him. If he is threatening to expose their sex life to people, then that is classic slut shaming. Because men get status for having sex and women get stigma, i.e. get called names, then men can use the fact that women have sex with them in order to control them and shame them. This can also be true about the taking drugs thing, because there is a different set of rules for what is expected of nice girls and what is expected of naughty boys. So he is using this to his advantage. What can you do? I'm not sure there's anything you can do without her consent that is going to help her. For example, if you were to go to the police about him giving her drugs or having sex with her under 16, without her agreeing to it, then she may get angry and not cooperate and not give a statement or make a complaint. Same goes for if this is happening within a school or college situation and you wanted to report it to someone. So I think the thing to try to do is to be an excellent friend to her and keep the conversation open about this. Make it clear that you have her back, you have, that you have concerns about their relationship and that you're willing to try to give her the support that she needs. Sometimes with friends, if we just tell them what to do and nag them out of a relationship, then they don't really listen and might just want to shut the conversation down. In these cases, it's often a good idea just to listen, give them space to say what they want to say and offer gentle advice. Get really good at doing a listening face. Ask her if you can get someone else close to you involved to help to help out. In these situations, it's great if someone feels like they have a team of, of two or three or four people on their side. Coaches in her corner telling her that she's great and that she can get out of this relationship or be in a better one. If she just wants to keep this issue between you two, then you need to be careful about not offering too much because you might end up running out of your energy, time and resources to help her. It can also affect your relationship with her. It can be really, really difficult to do this for someone else. By being worried about her and offering her support, you are using up a lot of your energy, time and resources. So make sure you have someone that can support you. Ideally, she would give you permission to talk to someone that you can trust. But if not, you could talk to someone who can give you confidential advice or someone that you can trust who doesn't know this person so that you would be able to keep it anonymous. So it could be like a teacher, counsellor, a youth support worker or a local young people service. You could also just talk about relationships in general, for example, talking about your relationships, romantic, friendship, family, etc. And talking about what you would find acceptable and unacceptable in a relationship. What makes for a healthy relationship? 
how to make relationships more healthy. You could even talk about fictional relationships and what you both think about them. Sometimes talking about relationships other than the one that you have concerns about can help them to open up about their own relationship and realise what is going on. When people are in abusive situations like this, it can make them feel less confident about asserting themselves and it can make it harder for them to do the right thing for them. The difficult thing for you is that you want to keep her safe and help her see what's going on whilst also being kind, consensual and listening to what she wants and needs. So it's a gentle balance of you being there and offering support whilst also sometimes being able to say, look, this is clearly a sign of someone who's being abusive. You could even ask her to give someone else advice if they were in a similar situation to her. I've got a few links at Bish that might be helpful for you to read and maybe for her too. I'll leave these in the comments. You can also see all the links in the articles I've written at Fish, which I'll also link to. I hope that helps. Bye.